Return to Kara Kiflin. All right. Razad fell to their death. Obtain the gem of abjuration. All right. Plot twist. We've been pronouncing it wrong the whole time. Pal Pal I can't even say it wrong. Paladin. Pa Paladin. I, don't, I can't even. I don't even know what she said. All right. I just heard a kid scream. So I didn't get to run around that room. I know there was treasure in there. They're hiding the treasure. Can I open it? Door cannot be opened. It rhymes with Aladdin. Aladdin. Paladin. Pal I can't. A Aladdin. Paladin. Paladin. Yes, that's what she said. The projections. They're all gone. This must have something to do with Adrastea's awakening. River has the loot. Ah, oh, here's the plea. Friends, as you remember, I asked for your help to cleanse the surroundings of my tower of this undead creature you call a defiler. My modest divination powers taught me that the creature's name is Razan uh, Holorant. It has established his home in the underground tunnels beneath the ruins outside. Yet, you may be able to draw him out of hiding, though only at night. If you open a tomb inside one of the... If you open a tomb inside one of the old buildings, apparently he brought the remnants of his deceased wife and children to rest there. It would appear the creature might have had a soul after all, although I understand he sacrificed his family for eternal life. Such a crime cannot be unpunished. Therefore, as ruler of this land, I hereby grant you license to put an end to the very existence of the foul of this foulness in my name. Yours truly, Andrastea Epimeles Aspis. He got a ring as well. No, I didn't. Maybe he put it on. Oh, yeah. Sigil ring of abjuration requires attunement. Plus one to saving throws, plus one to AC cast. Dispel magic once every day. Okay. So he's got the ring of dark vision. He's got the ring of necromancy. Oh, he can cast Vampiric Touch. I keep forgetting about that. Uh, all right, we'll give that to him. He's got to attune it, though. All right, so we got to leave and then go mess up the, the bad guys outside. Family for eternal life. Not too bad, says Elaval. Not too bad. We can't go this way for whatever reason. It's a side quest you could do later on if you want. You can't, I can't do it now while I'm here. Isn't it like right outside here? Oh, I guess you can, you didn't though, okay. I figure while we're here. I opened this, yes? Chest empty. Torch times 10. Switch to the quest to find the location. All right. Uh, find Razan and destroy him. Set up camp for 16 hours. Uh, a tune item for river. Okay. Save. 
really says, uh, I want to thank you, Bog, for introducing me to this game. Having a blast playing. Happy Father's Day to you. Hope you enjoy your weekend. Thank you, really. I'm glad you're having fun with it. And thanks for letting me know. It always feels uh, good when uh, someone has fun for something they learn about on the stream. Okay, so unknown content in this basket right here. What? Where's the basket? This one? It is a gift. A gift to the friends of the otters. Robin, thanks for gifting a sub to Rilly. Thank you. That's our first newer gifted sub of the day. Four more, we'll do a game vault giveaway. And really, don't forget to refresh your stream so you don't get any more ads. All right, there is a chest, a basket, like right over here. Is that a bug on the map? Might be a bug on the map. I don't see a basket right here. Oh, it's right here. Look at this. Oh, secret. What the? Oh, a prime short sword. Okay, don't mind if I do. There I was standing with baskets of bread. Alright, so he said... Is that quest here? You totally missed that. The only way I saw that, Robin, is I looked on the map and I saw there was a unopened basket there. The only way I saw that. Oh, there's over here. Tomb with unknown content. Oh, I bet this is the, this could be the tomb. Yeah, that's the blip on the radar. Thanks, Elaval. <clears throat> Happy Father's Day, really. Strange letter. My love, I have a new daughter. Her name is Estala. Of course, she doesn't have your blood, but she has mine. Unlike you, she will be my by my side forever. Rest in peace in your new home. Razan, the extreme jerk. It's a battle. Estala and Razan. And the brood the flesh. Bro oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Well, let's start with two shots to the face. No quarter given. I like that. Oh, damn it. Could have started much stronger. Counter spell. And just like that, you get to do nothing. She's gonna get attacked by everybody. What strength? Now he's got more health than he did before, I think. Uh, uncanny dodge. Okay. They're all gonna take a bite out of her. Can you light up anything? I can. We're gonna need it too. In fact, if things go really poorly, I'm gonna reload. And then we'll set it up. 
Because I don't think I like everybody being down in this pit at the start either. Well, Zarya only took three points of damage. That wasn't the worst. I can light up that sconce up there, but that's about it. Can't see that from there? How about from here? Zoop, 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 zoop. A real little goblin. Yeah. Wait, Firebolt doesn't light those up? No, I have daylight, yeah. I do have daylight, but uh, summon a globe of bright light. It does if you hit it, Tove. I just missed. Figures. Nice little warm up. There you go. There you go. Now we got the disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah. And then she regenerated. I kind of want to get him into combat, but that means spending a turn doing not much, huh? I have to go get the door. in the light. Bye! Ah. What'd she bring over? Food. food? What kind of food? Yeah. Ah. But Kunis, I didn't really go over it. I had a physical yesterday. I have to make some more appointments before we know anything. Uh, Darkness. What is this game? It's called Solasta. It came out a couple weeks ago out of early access. It um, uses the 5th edition SRD rules for Dungeons and Dragons, a pared down version of the 5th edition rules. Um, and it was kickstarted. And uh, this is their first game. And it's a lot of fun. Yeah, we're fighting vampires. And they fly and stuff. And the light affects them. Yeah, lots of cool stuff in this game. All right. Um, yeah, they can climb on walls. This is going to be such a, a, a tough fight. Black tentacles to restrain. Yeah, I can't really get lots of people with any one spell. And I, I don't think I can get anybody. I'm just gonna come up here and hope for the best. Why can't I hit this guy? I don't understand. We don't have line of sight to that? Alright, fine. 
already in action to do yeah ray of frost did you come back into the fight and stop running away <laughs> Thanks, Elf on a Shelf. Thanks so much for the tier two resub. Hype and love in the chat for Elf on a Shelf. Show this man some appreciation for that awesome support. Thank you. I hope you're doing great. All right, I gotta cast Spirit Guardians too. Select a position for the effect, that's fine. Oh, nice. You ready in action? Here's another ready action. Hey, that one actually worked. And then she steps into the light and takes some damage. Nice. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. What's going on? Why are the attacks being weird? Happy Friday, Elf on a Shelf. Here we go. The dice rolls. He just rolled double ones. I think they rolled double ones. There we go. You'll die like the rest. It's like, come on, Razan. We're beating up your daughter. You better come. You better save her. Oh, that's why? Because they're considering him there? <clears throat> How weird. Look, now I can't hit him from there either. Weird. Kenny Dodge, half the damage. All right, hold on a second. I must do better. I love that, Thorny Sutter. Thorny Sutter has the same doorbell. You love Spirit Guardians? Did it do something good? It's a great spell. All right, so how are we doing? Razvan is still almost full health. Astala is almost within killing range here. Let's see, does he have a line of sight with her from here? Yes. Let's go up here and rain some destruction down. What do we want to do? Ranger would take the tentacles. I believe in tentacles. Um, let's not miss. She's getting very close to death. Legendary action. That's a hit. He's drained. So that means Razvan healed. Okay. I think that's all right. Is he still concentrating on that spell or did they wipe it out? I don't, I think they got rid of uh, Spirit Guardians. There. 
Hold firm. You've endured worse. Okay. Gotta take gotta take a Stala out here. Attack of opportunity, yes! Oh come on! Attack of opportunity, yes! Oh my god, worst party ever. And now she's like running away. She's running away. Was that Santa at the door? No, that was uh, Azaria. Close, but not real. Darkness says, uh, man, remember the first video that I saw on your channel was about your first legendary I got. Was it with my kids like yelling in the background at the end, Darkness? Yeah, good times, good times. Time to make a new party now, I know, right? Well, I got Ra I got Razan right here. I guess I gotta attack him. Wait till the next one. Yeah, the next one's right now. Why do they even ask that? Of course, I want to have an attack of opportunity. You only get one reaction per round, Robin. So let's say there's like a bunch of little goblins around your character, and then like the ghoul that you're really afraid of, and the goblins all run away. If, if they did it automatically, you would use your attack of opportunity on a goblin and not save it for maybe the ghoul, you know, something like that. That's why they ask. It simulates the pen and paper game. You know, if uh, if we were playing Dungeons and Dragons, the dungeon master would be like, well, they're gonna leave your threat range. Do you wanna use your attack of opportunity? And then the player would go yes or no. That's basically why. Fun fact. Yeah. Our freezer is uh, approximately 50% ice cream. 50% ice cream in our freezer? And it is not of my own doing. Just wait, wait, what did she bring over? She brought over a tub of uh, vanilla and then two boxes of Italian ices. Really? And then a whole bunch of other like snacks. Just yeah. because they're done with school? I, I think what it was is that she uh, she just, she like needed to do like a full shop. Yeah. And it was like, like she wanted to get like newer ice cream or whatever. While the kids are here, they'll go and they'll nosh on that. And then when they go back to their house, and they go back to her house, it'll be, you know. Okay. There we go, free ice cream. Over explanation. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna, I probably have to reload this, I think. I don't know. I can't even get to her. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the shot. I'm gonna take the shot. Gotta take a shot. Shot. Shot! Yes! She falls from the sky and dies! Dead. 44 months? Was that my Do turn? Yes. I was the one that did it? Yes. You're welcome. And then there is this. And then there is that. You're Elden, so thanks for the 44. Welcome. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> prevent incoming attack. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you go run away. He takes four radiant, but then he like you chews on my us. character. You know, this ra my ranger is getting absolutely shredded down here. No one's helping him. Yeah, please. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for teleporting out of there. Yeah. Robin, no sound effects today? Robin, that, that sound effect was taken away in November when the DMCA thing hit. <laughs> we haven't had those sound effects since November, unfortunately. Yeah, I think there's only like one that still works. Uh, the peachy one. Like, what are you doing is the only one, I think. There might be one more. Yeah, but we all the fun's been ruined. It is a gift, a gift to the friends of the otters. Tony subject, thanks for gifting a sub to Darkness. Uh, one hundred and nine gifted subs on the channel for Tony subject. Thank you so much for making somebody else a subscriber and making their day. Thank you very much. Three more, and we will do a game vault giveaway. Three more new or gifted subs. We'll do a game vault giveaway. Um, and darkness, don't forget to refresh so you don't get any more ads. Hey, Moogle Tar, what's up? How you doing? Okay, what do I do here with the, uh, the wizard? 
Do you think do you think this could this would work on him? Let's try the black tentacles. Or should I wait till I can get one more person in there? Eh, let's try it. Okay, I guess it will wait till his turn and we'll see if it works. Who needs heals? Our friend Bog does. If I cast a spell, it's gonna stop my other spell though, is it? No, maybe not. Eleven. I'll remember. Tentacles? Uh, it's a slow spell. Yeah, let's counter the slow spell. No slow spell for you. Was he even impacted? I don't even know. You want to make animated emotes now? Let's do it, Moogle Tart! I messaged you on Discord about it. Yeah, they added them yet last night. So I used the... Uh, the bit badges that I had done, not the bit badges, the uh, cheer motes. I can't ever remember that name, cheer motes. Yeah. You have a couple weeks off soon? All right, let's 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 uh, let's put our heads together. And we have some other, we have some other things that we wanted to take care of too, right? Azari says there are a lot of upsides and downsides to being an adult. An upside of being able to keep a carved candy on your table at all times. A downside is that there's ca table on my can table on my candy. Can't even read. Yeah, but we need a wiggling otter butt, Moogle Tart. We need an otter butt that wiggles. I think that's what we need. All right, what should I do? Let's take care of this guy. More coming your way. Okay, that guy's almost dead. That's good. Sure. There we go. Another death. Azari kills somebody else. I think it's funny that they have not hit my wizard yet. Okay, they finally hit him. Damn it. That was decent damage. Okay. Um, that guy hanging out on the wall is really annoying. Faster. Back doing adult things and Bog gets small. All right, Pecunius, I'll get small. I am unbeatable. You did one damage. Stop bragging. All right, Ranger Danger. Get off that wall. Oh. What? 15 misses? How about a 15? Okay. All right. I guess it's better than a 15 armor class. There we go.
Sneak attack. I think those tentacles is keeping Razan at bay. I think. I'm not 100% on that. My ranger's got three health. Okay. I really would like to keep my cleric up top here, but Bong's not letting me do that. Well struck. Thank you. He's paralyzed. Okay. Decent damage. And here comes all the bad guys. Are you okay? Please be okay. Oh, he was he went down. Okay, Ranger is down. Thorny subject, your uh, chapter two now into Dragons of Autumn Twi Twilight audiobook. Agree that the narrator is great. Oh, nice. Have you ever read those books before? Thorny subject? They're so good. Like, that trilogy that you're reading. Oh, you did back in the day. I know. That trilogy is is like. I'm not saying it's as good, but it's as grand in scale as the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Yeah. It's like. Crazy good. All right. Well, I'm going to give. Oh, I would lose the black tentacle spell. We can't do that. Let's just keep going here. Don't lose her. That sucked. That sucked. You've never read those? So, the, so there's a ton of Dragonlance novels, right? Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, it's an old Dungeons and Dragons setting. Um, Margaret Wise and Tracy Hickman are the authors, and they based it on their own D&D &D campaign. And they've done a bunch of books. And uh, the first trilogy that they recommend you read is uh, starts with The Dragons of Autumn Twilight. And there's three books, and it's an epic adventure. Uh, like I said... Grand in scale, like Lord of the Rings. There's another trilogy after that called Time of the the, the Twins trilogy, and uh, that's fantastic as well. I've read all six of those, and there's more books besides those. I just haven't read them. There's tons of them. Yeah. Okay. So, can I get to the Ranger? And should I? I guess. Go, go help the ranger. Go heal him up. He's no longer dying. That's good. He's paralyzed, though. It's not one thing, it's another with this guy. Them now. <laughs> Half the damage. Uh oh, she's frightened. Remove fear. No, I don't have him removed here. I wish I did. 
the black tentacles seem to really be doing the good job. Um, should I fireball? <laughs> should I fireball just him? Just for fun? Fifteen? Oh, because he's made a save. And then he healed himself. What a jerk. All right. Thanks. All right. There are no halflings in Dragonlance, Elden. Tov, Raceland is such a good character. Anything about him is awesome. I agree, Tov. He's very complicated. Very complicated character. All right, I'm gonna get him out. Why can't he climb? I guess he can, he's just gotta do a dash. That's impressive. Kill him. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're called Kender. They're called Kender. In Dragonlance. I actually like that in the ca Dragonlance campaign setting, they tried to make a race that was, like, inspired by Tolkien's hobbits, but they weren't, like... They were different. They weren't a direct ripoff. They were actually insanely brave, where hobbits and Lord of the Rings were kind of like homebodies and... You know, didn't like adventuring. They, uh... They were, like, like really thin and not portly. Um... They like having... Kind of, like, a little bit of kleptomaniac in a way. Fill their pockets with all kinds of random stuff. Yeah. So, based on... Having a race like hobbits, but clearly different. <laughs> Okay. I don't know how to kill this guy. I really think that tentacle spell is, is what's holding that guy over there, though. Which is really nice. Don't know what else to do, though. Conjures a large spectral guardian that damages approaching enemies. Where do you put that? Right there. <laughs> that guy's not large. <laughs> Explain the large part. Go on. He doesn't take a lot of damage from arrows. Oh, don't bow him. That's okay, I guess. Let's move her back into the daylight. Chill touch him so you can't heal. Chill touch is a touch spell, though. I'd have to go into the my. Do tentacles affect your own people? Yeah, he's he's getting destroyed by those tentacles. It isn't touch? Chill touch? I don't have it, first of all. But are you sure chill touch isn't touch? <laughs> Oh, come on, you left him with one health. Is he dead? Just die. No, he just healed. Mother Fletcher. Worst name spell in the game, it isn't touch or cold damage? In some edition it was, come on. My memory's not that bad. <laughs> I 
He did heal. How funny. Run while you can. Um. No. Oh. There we go. Holy crap. Thank God. 2,600 experience. That was huge. Huge, huge, huge. It's 1d8 necrotic damage, but it inflicts the chilled condition. But what about like second edition or third, third edition? <laughs> In some edition, it had to have been a touch attack. No? That was a marathon battle. All right, so what can we get? Anything in here now? Nothing in the tomb. It summons a ghostly hand. Ah, okay, yeah. Now, I kind of remember that differently. But now, now that you said it's a ghostly hand. Clearly, you have trained. Well, I get you. We got one arrow. Thank you. You were so happy that was in the fridge, weren't you? All right, so do we have to turn that in? Or does that just go to completed? You kept your promise to Andrastia and destroyed Razvan. All right, or Razan. No treasure? No awesome vampire treasure? How about the how about the daughter? Oh, the daughter had treasure. Aha! A beautiful cloak. A golden locket. A silver comb. Storm heather. A moonflower. And a farewell leather. Letter. All right, all right. Oh, he automatically put the cloak on. Stop putting things on automatically. That's confusing. Farewell, old friend. Never again shall you warm my skin and soothe my sadness. Today, I embrace the night. Today, I enter eternity. I reject the gods and their power. I become one with the darkness. Astala Mertravek. She's like 21 years old. All right. This was another, this was the strange letter. Okay. There is a castle on the cloud. I like to go there in my sleep. How come I don't have the tech magic? I thought I could. I thought I could cast uh, detect magic as a ritual. Second edition, it was a touch attack. See, I knew somewhere along there. Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> somewhere in my memory, a wizard ritual. No, his only has identify. I thought I did this before. Oh well. How do I identify? It's a cloak of the arachnid, or they say, say cloak of arachnida in this game. See? That looks awesome. Do you need to memorize the spell still? I thought you guys told me you didn't. Darkness, out of curiosity, why why uh, Guild Wars 2 coming to Steam makes you happy? 
What's the difference between playing it on Steam and right from their launcher? Okay, clerics need to prepare it, wizards do not. Okay, gotcha. That's the difference. Requires a two minute of a short rest. Resistant to poison, damages have. Can move along walls, cannot be restrained by webs, and can cast pass without trace. One charge. All right, we're going to give this to Azaria. It's the rogiest item ever. Oh, it's a shame it doesn't actually show. I'm assuming the comb... And the locket are not magic? I guess we can try. <laughs> Just cast it. Nothing more found on the comb. Oh, more people will see it and maybe be like top 10 best Steam game number one go. <laughs> uh, that's true. More people will see it and probably there'll be more players. Yeah. Okay. I was just curious. I, I thought you were like waiting to play. <laughs> wait, waiting to play more. I'll wait till it comes on Steam and then I'll play it. And this locket. Nothing more. Okay. Well, we got a cool cloak out of that quest. I just hope because he died over here, there wasn't more loot that I can't get to. All right. Now, um, was there a gate inside here that I could use to teleport? That's true, the scavengers would find it. I read a bunch of the Xanth, uh, the Xanth series, Elden, when I was young. Whole bunch of them. I probably read nine, nine of their books. Right? Do you want these? Well. I, I bought them because I needed, I needed one, so. Okay, listen to me. Listen to me right now. Stop, stop! Listen here. She just showed me pens. I have a box of 60 pens sitting right here. Okay, so you don't need my 10 over there? You didn't need to buy pens. Well, I didn't have one when I was in the- I have more pens than most people. Want one? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> um, also, I bought a speaker wire. But okay. they only sold it in a hundred foot increments. There's a fly, you gotta get it. You have addiction to pens? Me too. I love pens and stationery. Did you get that? No. She's fighting a fly. If you hear something crash, it's her. Oh, you're gonna hit the light? Don't hit the light. Don't do that! You don't flap a light. You got him though? I got him. Nice. Is there a gate here, gang? Or am I just... I thought she mentioned a gate. She flapped it. Well, at least there's a resting place. Let's rest. Bless you. Thank you. Where's the tech magic? Oh, it's here. All right, what's a spell that I'm never casting? Not really casting Shield of Faith. So let's give him detect magic. All right. Validation. Tune item. Did 
you know that the kids are playing Phasmophobia? I didn't. Oh my gosh, the are, two of them with that. Are they laughing? Oh yeah, so much. I just gave your character a really cool item. Yeah. Cloak of the Arachnid. That's very true, Tove. Fwap is definitely different. I could have sworn the dragon said, Hey, you could use my gate if you want. I know that you know how to... Oh, here's the gate. Is this it here? Major... Yes, yeah, see? I knew it. Major gate. I wasn't just making it up. Care carefully. Oh, we can go all different places. You love the map in this game? It's great. The map is great. I like the fast traveling. It worked. Okay, so we're going to check in with the council and continue the main quest. Go directly to the council hall, make your report. Nice. I'll oh, see, I, 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 love, I love pickles. So pickle juice to me, I like, while I wouldn't choose to drink that like normally, mm -hmm. if it's the only way I could get rid of my uh, hiccups, I'm like, okay, sure, let's try it out. I can see if you have an aversion towards pickles though. Yeah, killing. if you hate pickles, then that's not a good yeah, remedy. If all we had was <clears throat> sweet pickles, oh hell no. The what? smell to that. Oh, sorry. I went to a, I went to plot. There's guys. Stay in the light, adventurers. What? <laughs> oh. Oh, return the holy symbol. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> that was great. So we had a quest to turn in for him. Um, yeah, nobody else has an exclamation mark except for Lord Karan. Dance your tears away. Guess what? Your hiccups are gone, at least for now. Magic. It, it, I, I can't tell you it will work every single time, but it is. it has worked enough, often enough for me to try it every time, you know? And there's been a couple people on stream that I've told that to that it's worked for. <laughs> so... Because really, what hiccups are is your diaphragm spasming, right? And so you got to get it back in rhythm. And it's controlled via breathing. <clears throat> All right, let's see what's going on here. Oh, that's a pretty scene right there. Honorable members of the council, Please be seated. The Legacy Council is now in session. Lord Keenmind has the floor. Keenmind. Honorable members of the Council, we at the Arcanium have gathered like crucial information about this crown. This is indeed the crown of the Magister, belonging to Kaysenax, eternal soul of the Eight Traditions, ninth and last Magister of the Manakellan Arcanium. At the time, there were eight masters of magic, one for each of the old schools. In time of need, each master lent their gem to the Magister, the head of the Arcanium. 
Placed in the crown, they granted additional powers okay. that enabled the Magister to cast spells or perform rituals of incredible power. And now such he's as got it. The closing of the rift from Terma. Murmurs. Now, there is some debate about whether the crown, with all its gems, could possibly open another rift, or even reopen the previous one. Nonsense. The rift has been closed for a millennium. So Lasta paid a high enough price for that. Have you been to the Badlands recently? Order! <laughs> Marshal Sunblaze has the floor. For our part, now that the existence of Sora Akath on Celasta has been confirmed, we have gathered proof that they are operating everywhere in the Eastern Kingdoms, including here, in the Principality of Mazgarth. Impossible! The Soraks are looking for the crown and its gems. That cannot be a coincidence. A powerful artifact, certainly. But reopening the rift? It took all the gods of Tirmar to open it. No one knows for sure what the crown can do. It's just a theory. As you know, it protects itself from our divination spells. That is one of its mysterious powers. Then why would the Sorax think they know better? Because they're Sorax. Their foul god, Sortar, knows. He's he mad. is guiding them. We tried to leave him. And them. Behind on Tirmar. It seems... We failed. Their people, their culture, they must have been obsessing about this for a thousand years. While we spent that time fighting each other, they had to stick together and hide to survive. Fables and conjectures. Perhaps. But can we take the risk? <clears throat> the crown must be secured. The crown belongs to those who found it. Those are the rules. The quest for the gems should be completed. Only this way can we learn more about the crown and its powers. Yes, yes. These deputies, well, they're not strong enough. No offense. What do you mean? Tell that to the crown. And they've done well enough so far, wouldn't you say? We just killed vampires. This is nonsense. Maybe the deputies would like to speak. After all, they are members of the council now, aren't they? No, that's okay. <laughs> The crown is ours. Give us weapons! Give us weapons! We'll continue the quest. You should trust us more. How funny is that? Give us weapons. Uh, I'm going to say you should trust us more. We are fully devoted to the quest and perfectly aware of its vital importance. Right. Trust is a hot topic these days. Nobody here questions your dedication. You've done a lot already, yet we should support you in your efforts. And we will. If that is all, may we conclude? I'd like to say a word, if that is appropriate. She's a Sorak, by the way. Of course, your highness. We're listening. I think our brave deputies shouldn't be, you know, sleeping in a city inn. We have a very comfortable residence near the palace. They would be safer there, don't you think? Trap. That would be my, I mean, our part in supporting the quest. Sorak. <clears throat> your Highness, I must remind you that your decisions as head of state are not subject to council approval. Oh, right. Might I suggest that you reiterate your offer outside these walls? Of course. I beg the council's pardon. Not at all, your Highness. Then I think that is all? Thank you. The Legacy Council is now in recess. I wonder what would happen if you said magic weapon. Give me weapons. A word, please, deputies. What's up? <laughs> What's up? Highness asked me to reiterate her offer to accommodate you at the palace residence. <laughs> What's that? A house for plenipotentiaries, emissaries, and other guests of the plenipotentiaries. Court. Sounds nice. You don't say. Where is this residence? In the palace. Ask for Ravensworth, a royal butler. He'll show you. Stay in the light, senior deputies. You too, Captain. Okay. Oh, that's great. This game looks amazing. It's a lot of fun. It's it is fun. 
You know, some of the uh, little cutscenes and animations and stuff is, is awkward. I noticed how much detail they put into, like they have the, the council sit on that long U-like bench and the way they do the camera during the cutscenes, like you see full body shots. So they had to do something so they just weren't all just sitting like the same way. So there's like four different poses there. You got the guy like this and you got the guy like this. And then the girl sits back like this. And then the one guy's got his leg up. He's got his leg up and over, just like, hi. <laughs> so they have four different poses in there. <laughs> oh, it just makes me laugh. Like, they put detail into that, but it, it's funny that they, they had to solve that issue. <clears throat> you th I think there's more than one person on that council that's a Sorak. I think there's more than one. Yeah. The squirrely guy? Yeah, the I think the princess is too. The princess has said a couple of things, not just in that cutscene, but in previous ones where I was like, ah, that seems a little sus. A little sus. Okay, so where did they say, where is the palace? Is this the palace? That's the council. Do you guys know is the, uh, is the residence? In this map? It is? Can you point me? The big quest symbol. This one here? Ah, oh, okay. Okay, got it. Oh yeah, Br Bradford Ravensworth. Mm, yes. Sorry, just walks past at the wrong moment. It's so weird from her perspective. So I'm literally sitting silent in a room. So anything I say or do is just completely out of context. Your rooms are ready. Oh wait, that's all you say. Your rooms are ready. Your rooms are ready. Hey? Stay in the light, citizens. Mm, yes. Your rooms are ready. All right, let's go. This is going to be a trap in here. Here's your new quarters, and your beds are full of snakes. He has pink pants. You. I know you. It's Trevor Belmont. What? You are at the embassy. An aide or something? You're mistaken. I'm a council deputy. You can't fool me. I never forget a face. Sorak impersonated her? What's going on, friend? Never mind. Oh. That oh. same week, the Galavan envoy somehow got hold of our plans for the trade treaty. Stop bothering us. We're guests of the princess. He's a Belmont. Be careful. They're a powerful family in the Snow Alliance. This isn't over. Now I found you. We'll settle this. Yeah, she's had a past. I like that the backgrounds Anything matter. We know. Old story. Look, Hold if on. this is going to be a problem, we need to fix it together. I agree. All right, then. I'll need to see someone at the Gallivan Embassy. 